Do you need help carrying notes, Rina? Thanks, Hisashi. My name is Hisashi Nimura. I'm a sophomore in high school. Rina Amano is a childhood friend, and I help her out often. Rina was nice to me even though I was an introvert, and I was secretly in love with her. Hisashi, I'm in charge of cleaning today, so you can go home first. Nah, I'll help you out so we can go home together. Sorry for always making you help. Don't worry about it. You'll always help me out when I'm in charge of things. Rina and Nimura always get along so well. Think they're going out? I don't think so. Rina is too good for him. I can hear people whispering about us. Rina is cute, and I'm just an introvert that can't socialize with anyone other than her. It was expected that they would think I'm not good enough. As I was about to leave after cleaning, a classmate called me over. Rina said she'd wait, so I decided to go talk to him. Hey, Nimura. Are you dating Amano? What? No, we're not like that. So why are you two always together then? Well, we've known each other since we were young. You're sure? There's no romance there? Uh... I definitely did have feelings, but I wasn't sure about her. I hoped she felt the same way, though. You sure that there's nothing there, right? Then you wouldn't have a problem with me asking her out, yeah? I'm not looking for permission. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't asking out a girl who was already dating because I didn't want to be a homewrecker. That was all he said before he left. Rina was popular as expected. If I take too long, someone is going to take her first. I'd been taking her presence for granted, and for the first time, I started feeling like I might lose her. Hisashi, what's up? You seem upset. Huh? Nah, I'm alright. I was pretending everything was fine, but I was giving half answers to her questions. My mind was too occupied thinking about the other classmate asking her out. Ah! Whoa! The train suddenly shook and Rena fell onto me. I supported myself and stopped us both from falling over. S sorry Hisashi. Oh, uh, it's okay. For a brief moment, Rena was hugging me from behind. That made me feel like my heart was beating out of my chest. In that moment, I knew that I was definitely in love with her. See you tomorrow, Hisashi. I walked to her house and decided to ask her out right then. Wait, Rina! Hmm? Huh? What's up? I took a deep breath. Ever since I was young, I always liked you. Will you be my girlfriend and not just my friend? Rina didn't answer. She looked troubled and confused. I'm sorry, Hisashi. I do like you. I just don't look at you romantically. Let's just stay as friends, okay? I was heartbroken. I couldn't get out of the friend zone with Rina. The fact that she said she does like me made me even more confused. No, oh, I'm sorry for making you uncomfortable. It's okay. I'm sorry that I couldn't make you happy. Don't worry about it. See you tomorrow. I knew the harder I tried, the more I'd scare her away. I decided to back off. I felt like it would be awkward to see her, so I left a little early. The slight difference in time made the train seem less busy. I didn't know that leaving slightly early could make train rides so much more comfortable. I kind of avoided her, but I had to see her at school. What should I do? I was still figuring things out from being rejected by Rina. Nimura, what a surprise. You're alone today? This girl talking to me was known as the school's prettiest girl. Her name was Chie Hatori, a classmate. This was the first time we had talked. Uh, yeah, I had to deal with some stuff. Ah, you got dumped, didn't you? I don't even have a girlfriend. I thought you were dating Amano. You two always came to school together. Amano is just a childhood friend. How do you know that anyway? Because I always ride the same train as you. Really? You really only have eyes for Amano, huh? I woke up a little early today, so I ended up leaving early. I guess I'm lucky because I was able to talk to you. Why? Because I wanted to get to know you better. 
Do you want to go out with me instead if you're not dating Amano? I've liked you for a long time. What? Are you messing with me? I'm serious. I didn't say anything to you because I thought you were dating Amano, but since you're not, I want you to really consider me. But I... Rina popped into my head. I was definitely not over her. Do you like Amano? B yeah. I asked her out yesterday, but I was rejected. But I'm still not over her, so... I'm sorry. If you were rejected, that means I have a chance, right? What? I mean... Just like you can't give up on Amano, I can't give up on you. As Hatori declared her crush on me, we ended up going to school together. After I got to school, Hatori stopped talking to me. I saw Rina in class, but we only exchanged hellos and moved on. Rina probably knew why I left early. She told me she wanted to stay friends, but it was too awkward to even hold a conversation. I ran from Rina again. I left my house and took the early train, same as yesterday. Good morning, Nimura. Hatori! Why are you here so early? Yesterday she said that she left early on coincidence, but we somehow ended up on the same train again. I figured you would be on the early train, so I took my chances. Uh, oh! Can I sit there? Sure, go ahead. Alright, don't mind me. What? I had no idea what she was thinking, but she sat on my lap! Sorry, am I too heavy? Uh, no, that's not the problem. Why are you sitting on my lap? Oh, I have to put on my seatbelt. Hatori grabbed my hands and tucked them around her stomach. I ended up holding onto her from behind. But Hatori, there are no seatbelts on trains! Hey, did you consider my proposal from yesterday? You're really going to ask me about it? I saw you and Nimura looking at each other. I guess you two thought it was too awkward. If you weren't going to flirt with Amano, why don't you date me? That's not exactly... I can flirt with you like this all the time. I'm just trying to get you to fall for me. How do you feel, holding me like this? I mean, it's kind of embarrassing. So, it's not like you don't like it. My heart is pounding because of you. Wanna check? After she got off my lap and sat next to me, she tried to get me to listen to her heartbeat! Here, listen. You'll hear my heart pounding out of my chest. Hatori, this is a little too... My heart rate was also through the roof, with the soft sensation of her marshmallows on my cheek. I don't really care if I'm runner-up. I want to date you. What are you saying? I know you like Amano still, just like how I still like you. Why are you so interested in me? I'm just some random introvert that can't talk to anyone besides Rina. I'm not good enough for you. I was always jealous of your relationship with Rina. You were such a gentleman and always so kind to her. You also always took pride in your work and helped out the teacher when you could. I just wished I had that kind of boyfriend. You were watching me that much? I don't want to steal you at all. I always thought I'd be okay just watching you if you were dating Rena. But if you aren't in a relationship with her, I want you to look my way too. But I... I told you, I'm okay with being second. If you get through to Amano and you can date her, then I'll back off. Until then, can we please date? I was shaken. I liked Rina, but I couldn't ignore how passionately Hatori talked about her feelings for me. I couldn't give her a definite answer at the moment. <sighs> the awkward tension between Rina and me continued. I always ate lunch with Rina, but I decided to eat alone on the roof. Hey, you alone again? Hatori, why are you here? As I was about to open up my bread that I got from the school store, Hatori showed up. I figured you'd eat alone today, just like you did yesterday. I take it you haven't fixed things with Amano? Yeah. I know that the reason is because I'm avoiding her, but I can't get over being rejected yet. Then you don't mind me being by your side until then, right? What is this? 
I thought you might be eating alone, so I went and made lunch for you. I can't accept that! I haven't even given you an answer! I made it because I wanted to, so don't mention it. I mean... Hattori's smile was so cute when she handed me the lunchbox. I could tell why she was considered the prettiest girl in the school. Alright, thanks then. Telling her no would make me feel guilty, so I decided to accept the lunch. I hope you like it. I took my first bite as Hattori watched. It tasted extremely good. It's so good. Really? I'm glad to hear that. I'll make you lunch from now on, okay? Oh, that's really okay. If you don't want to eat it, you don't have to. Hattori's kind words grabbed my heart again. Even though she knew how much I liked Rina, she still showed me affection. I was unsure if I should continue to turn Hattori down, especially since Rina was unable to reciprocate my feelings for her. And I ran again. I left the house early to avoid Rina again. I felt like I couldn't get over it if she ever told me she just wanted to be friends again. Good morning, Nimura. Hattori, you're early again? Seems like I get to have you all to myself again. I'm glad. I never said anything. And why are you sitting there again? Hattori sat on my lap again. Because I want you to hold me. Hattori made her hug me from behind again. We don't have to do this on the train, though. Okay, then. Where? I don't think it's ever normal to sit on someone's lap. It's alright. Something hard is hitting my butt, but I don't mind. What? Nothing's hard! It's okay. Something is in your pocket. Oh, that! <laughs> what do you think I was talking about? I couldn't see her face, but I knew she was teasing me by her tone. Was she seducing me? I wasn't sure, but I didn't mind how close I was to Hattori. How is it on my lap, Nimura? Uh, it's comfortable. After eating Hattori's homemade lunch, I was asked to sit on her lap. I felt bad sitting on a girl's lap, so I decided I'd just use her legs as a pillow. Can you understand why I want to sit on your lap now? Yeah, no, not really. I'd heard about using someone's legs to lie down, but never actually sitting on them. Enjoy some squishy cushions, too. What? Hattori suddenly started leaning into me, so I jumped up in a panic! You don't have to worry. No, are you not scared at all doing stuff like this with me? I would do anything with you, Nimura. Uh... Hattori's sweet words created a desire inside of me I could barely contain. It was tough remaining calm. This went on for about a week. She sat on my lap like it was the new normal on the train, and I ate her homemade meals for lunch every day. As the days went on, I started feeling more comfortable around Hattori than I did with Rina. I'm so lucky to be able to spend time with you like this. I was lying on her lap just like usual. At first I was very hesitant, but now it just felt comfortable. Hey, Nimura. I know this is weird coming from me, but are you not going to talk to Amano? Hattori only ever came to me in the mornings and during lunch. She was intentionally giving me time to talk to Amano. Why are you concerned about it? I told you, I'd be okay with being second best. But as I spend more time around you, it's getting tougher to accept. I got more and more afraid that you are going to move away from me. I gave it some thought. Maybe it's rude of me to try to force Rina to accept my feelings for her when she just wants to stay friends. Maybe I should answer to someone who's interested in me. Does that mean... Hattori looked up at me. The more time I spend around you, the more comfortable I get around you, Hattori. I'm sorry I took so long. Hattori, I... Oh, there you are, Hisashi. You're with Hattori? As I was trying to ask out Hattori, Rina came and interrupted. Rina? Why are you here? I was looking for you, Hisashi. Long time no see. Oh, sorry, Rina. I was avoiding you because I felt like it was awkward, but it's okay. I figured things out and I won't bother you. 
About that, I think I took you for granted because you were always around me. After we took some time apart from each other, I started missing you a lot. I'm sorry that I said such horrible things. It's okay. I don't mind. But I understand now. I do like you, Hisashi. I feel how you feel. Do you want to go out? What? I was not expecting Rina to ask me out as I was about to ask out Hattori. What's wrong, Hisashi? Aren't you happy? I am happy, but I like someone else now. You're the one that asked me out, Hisashi. I know, but I'm sorry. Let's just stay friends. Why? Are you mad that I told you I'm not interested in you romantically? No, I like Hattori. I wanted to ask out Hattori properly, but I ended up confessing my feelings for Hattori indirectly. Nimura, you really mean that? You were so into Amino. And yet you were so into me, even though I couldn't get over it. You helped me get through it. If you aren't tired of putting up with me, I'd like to go out with you. I'm so happy. I'm your number one now. Wait, you couldn't get over me? Are you sure you won't regret this? I had just asked out Hattori, but Rina was not having it. I like you too, Rina. Only as friends, though. But I like Hattori romantically. I forgive you for finding someone else because I turned you down. Come back to me. What? Rina? I like you too, Hisashi. Think about it again. Amano, I'm sorry, but this is for my boyfriend. I've been holding back, but I don't want to think about losing him anymore. So please, let me have this. I won't. If Hisashi has any feelings left for me, I want him back. But... You can't have him. He's mine. Guys, calm down! I'm dating Hattori, and that's that! Hisashi is just confused because he's upset about how far apart we were. I'll help him remember what it feels like to be close to his childhood friend. You can try, but I'll just remind him how much better it is to be with me. Rina and Hattori became enemies from that point on. I never expected Rina to be this way. And from that moment, the fight to grab my attention began.